Hello. Today we're going to talk about calculating the difference between two dates. So calculating the difference between two dates is slightly more complicated than calculating the difference between other types of numbers. The irregular numbers of days and months, leap years, and other factors make this type of calculation slightly more complex than some. However, Excel has a function you might not know about that is designed specifically to calculate the amount of time in between two dates. The date diff function allows you to easily calculate the amount of time between two given dates. So when might this be useful? Well, if you need to calculate the ages of people and you only have their birth dates, the date diff function allows you to do this quickly and easily. So let's imagine that this is a list of people's birthdays and I want to know how old they are. First, I type today's date here and copy it down. Then I type equals date diff, enter the first date, the second date, and I follow it up with a command that lets the date diff function know how I want it to report the information. So in this case, I want to know how many years old someone is, so I just type y, close the statement, and there you go. Now if I drag this down, I can see how old each of these people are. You can also use the date diff function to report the number of months or days in between two given dates. Although we don't typically measure age in months or days, I'm just going to use the same data here to show you how it works differently if I switch out the y for an m. Here, we get the complete months between the dates. We can also use a d to retrieve the number of days instead, which is useful when calculating time spent on a given project, for example. You can also specify units that include certain units but exclude others. For instance, if I make my units MD, I'll get the difference in days, ignoring months and years. If I specify the units as YM, I get the difference in months, ignoring days and years. Finally, you also have the option of YD, which ignores years only. Hopefully this gave you some more tools for quickly calculating different periods of time in Excel. It's a useful function that can often be helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.